Okay, it looks like I'm live. Let me rearrange my window so I can see your questions, guys. One second. Okay, we are live. Hello, guys. My name is Victoria Paolo. I am the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today we will talk about digital painting and uh, today we are starting our new class digital painting from start to finish. We will talk about uh, basically everything. We will start with basic shapes, we will start with uh, our workspace organization, um, brushes um, presets organization, uh, brushes customization and everything like that. And we will finish in few months later with completely painting of still lives or um, people. So guys, let's start. Let's switch to my desktop just like this and let's rock and roll so guys as you can see i have opened uh adobe photoshop hi hi terry i have opened adobe photoshop and currently i am in essential uh workspace default uh workspace in photoshop uh, i'm not using all these panels all my tools uh with um, all my workflows. I prefer to customize my workspace uh, specifically for each workflow. Example, if I'm doing photo restoration, I prefer to use more um, retouching tools. If I'm working on digital painting, of course, I prefer to use uh, more um, painting tools. In photography, same. And because we are talking about a digital uh, painting, we will start customizing our toolbars for our digital painting workflow. How you can customize your um, toolbar? Guys, it's very easy. First of all, you need to go to edit, click toolbar and voila. Let me bring one second, guys. One second. I have today all technical difficulties. Okay, this is my uh, uh, customized toolbar of workspace. On the left side of my uh, workspace, you, uh, customized toolbar workspace, uh, you can see that I have all tools currently in my toolbar. Um, I will not use in my uh, digital painting workflow um, slice tool. So I will click on this uh, slice tool and I will drag it into extra tools workspace, of space like this. Same with frame tool. I will use eyedropper tool, but I will not use 3D material eyedropper uh, tool. I will move it as well to extra tools. Same with a uh, node tool, count tool. Uh, I will never use spot, spot healing brush tool, healing brush tool, or patch tool, or content aware move tool, or red eye tool. I never use red eye tool in general, but so uh, these tools I will be not using in my painting workflow. I'm moving them into extra space. Same with 3D material drop tool. Uh, with blur tool, sharpen tool, smudge tool. Um, I'm not a big fan of smudge tool, but sometimes it's uh, helpful, depend of um, project we are working on, so I will leave it. Uh, dodge, burn and sponge tools, I will leave it as it is. Of course, I will leave a pen tool, a freeform pen tool and my favorite curvature pen tool. Uh, will I leave a um, type tool? Um, no, I will not because I'm rarely using um, type 2 in my painting workflow. If I will need it, I can access it uh, at any time. So hand tool, rotate view tool, zoom tool, so uh, art history brush tool. I never use clone stamp tool in my painting workflow. I will move them to extra tools. And here guys, I have all 
tools I'm using in my uh, painting workflow. After I'm happy with everything, uh, I will click done and voila, look at my toolbar. Let me zoom in. This is basically my toolbar with all my custom tools I'm using in my digital uh, painting uh, workflow. Same guys, same you can do with uh, menus and uh, toolbars. Example, menus and let me bring back my uh, menu, it's on another monitor. I try to arrange my monitor just to see your comments and it doesn't work in the best way for me. Let, stay with me guys. Okay, you know what? We will escape it. Okay, same you can do with menus. You can adjust uh, colors um, uh, to your menus and everything like that. And we will talk closely about this on our next stream. Now, let's talk about uh, panels. Um, in my digital painting workflow, definitely I don't need to learn a Photoshop a panel because um, I'm currently in my painting process, so I don't need it. I will close it. Uh, libraries. Let's talk about libraries. Libraries are very helpful. Why? Because in our Creative Cloud library, we have all uh, assets we are working with, even with digital uh, painting workflow. If we are working with digital painting for photographers workflow, definitely we need our uh, images. Also, guys, I have... Um, let me scroll up um, a creative cloud library with uh, my brushes I use in Photoshop. Why? Because um, if I want to use my favorite brushes in Photoshop in Adobe Fresco, in Adobe Fresco I will open my um, creative cloud library and I will be able to use my favorite Photoshop brushes. So and and it's for me it's a uh, great way of uh, organizing my uh, brushes for mobile and, and desktop workflow. So library, I will leave libraries as it is. Properties. I'm not using properties in my uh, digital painting workflow, so I will close this panel. Adjustment. I'm using adjustments in my digital painting workflow, but uh, from time uh, to time, and I can uh, launch this uh, uh, panel at any time, so I will close it. Channels, I'm not using channels, I will close it. Pass, definitely I'm using pass when I'm working in my uh, uh, digital, uh, in painting using the curvature pen tool or pen tool. So I will leave it. And of course, uh, layers. Uh, I'm a big fan of layers, you know that. So uh, layers, a uh, layers panel is always open, 100, 100, 100% 100 in any workflow, guys. It's the rule number one. Always keep your layers panel open. How about colors? Colors panel uh, is always open. Swatches, it's very helpful. I, I will recommend you to keep it um, open. Gradient, yes, and patterns, yes. So as you can see, this is all uh, panels and tools I'm using in my digital uh, workflow. Now, not to rearrange everything at uh, all the time when I will uh, launch my, my Photoshop all over and over and over, I will save my custom um, a workspace. I will go to window, workspace, and I will click on new workspace. just like this. I will click on new workspace and now guys, let me switch here. I can customize my new, uh, I can uh, create my new uh, workspace. First of all, I will rename it. I will rename it to um, painting class. So we will always know this is our uh, workspace we just created with you. Also, guys, I will uh, enable keyboard shortcuts, menus, and toolbars. And we will talk closely about menus and keyboard shortcuts um, during our next stream. After I specify 
all options I would like to have, I will click save and voila. This is our um, new custom workspace. Uh, guys, if you are you worried about um, you deleted your um, tool, uh, tools, guys, you did not. Simply click on these three dots in your toolbar and you will be able to bring uh, all your uh, tools back. Example, if I want to use for some reason my patch tool, I will click on my patch tool and voila. If I would like to, um, let me zoom in for you. See, if I would like to click on spot healing brush tool, I will click on it and voila, I will be able to use this tool. So we are not deleting anything. We are not uh, removing permanently uh, any tool. If you would like to reset your uh, toolbar, simply go to edit toolbar and here click restore defaults just like this. And you will uh, restore your default uh, toolbar. Cancel. This is all about um, our workspace. But guys, did you notice that we forgot uh, about the main tool in our digital um, workspace uh, workflow. We forgot about our brush tool, brushes panel. I will click on my brush tool and here guys I have a brushes panel just like that. I will um, uh, first of all uh, be honest with you in uh, my everyday lives I have two monitors and I'm always displaying all my panels uh, and tools on my another um, monitor. Uh, currently I am in um, Wacom Cintiq monitor. So here uh, in my Wacom Cintiq um, screen I will have open Photoshop and all tools will be displayed in my iMac monitor. It's very easy for me. I have a lot of space for my canvas. It's easier for me. But guys, Sometimes we are working on a smaller screen like a um, notebook or a um, MacBook Pro or a laptop. In this case, uh, you need to um, understand what position of all your toolbars works better for you. Um, if I'm working with a small space, uh, example, I'm working on my uh, MacBook Pro, I will uh, move my uh, brushes, uh, brush settings and uh, brushes panels somewhere in here, just like this. And guys, uh, this is my uh, completely uh, customized uh, digital painting workspace. I love it. Um, it's easy. If you never uh, customize your workspace, just do it after our stream. Um, what about, guys, our uh, brushes? First of all, let me uh, bring brushes panel in the middle so you can preview it. As you can see, guys, I have a lot of bra a lot of brushes. Uh, because I'm Creative Cloud subscriber, all these brushes are free for me. And if you are Creative Cloud subscriber as well, uh, these brushes are free for you. How you can access to these brushes? It's easy. In a brushes panel, click on this accordion menu, just like that. Expand it, and here, guys, click on Get more uh, brushes. After you will click on get more brushes uh, tab, you will be redirected to Adobe Creative Cloud um, website where you need to log in using your Adobe, um, I, uh, Adobe ID and you will be able to download all these brushes uh, for free. And the best part, you don't need to apply any extra step to bring these brushes to Photoshop. Simply click on download, click on uh, downloaded um, folder and voila all brushes will be downloaded to your uh, uh, photoshop so you don't need to do anything and this is amazing now guys uh when uh we downloaded all these amazing brushes we have a lot of brushes 
And all these brushes, by the way, uh, by default, organized by folders. Look at this. All um, brushes organized by folders. But if I will click on example uh, watercolor um, folder and I will expand it, you will see that I have a lot of brushes. Definitely, some brushes are my favorite favorite some brushes i use sometimes some uh, some brushes uh, i don't use at all so how i will remember um all my brushes i like guys it's super super easy first of all um you can uh, you should not you can you should organize them by folders and subfolders all folders and all subfolders will make your life much, much easier. Your um, digital painting um, workflow more enjoyable. How you can uh, organize them. So, as you can see, I have in my uh, watercolor um, brushes um, folder, I have my favorite watercolor brushes and also I have two subfolders my background brushes and my second brushes. My second brush is different. Uh, basically brushes I use to apply some accents or um, I love them, but I don't use them all the time. My uh, background brushes, uh, my brushes I use to uh, create, to paint the background. Um, that means these brushes have very nice texture for my background. And I have my favorite watercolor brushes folder where I have all my favorite watercolor brushes. So now, if I would like, example, I work on my digital painting today and I discovered the watercolor brush I love a lot. So I spent 10, 20, 80 hours working on my painting. And tomorrow I start working on my um, impressionist uh, painting and I'm using impressionist uh, uh, brushes. In a few weeks later, a few months later, I decided to come back to my watercolor painting. And guys, believe me, you will not remember which uh, watercolor brush was your favorite. You will never remember this. To remember this, create folder. Create folder and add to this folder your favorite brushes. Okay, how you can create... Um, folder in the brushes panel simply click on this icon in your uh <clears throat> brushes panel just like that let me bring this now rename it painting class just to remember this and i will click ok and guys look at this now I have my folder painting class and example I love guys by the way did you download new spring Tony Tony update uh, brushes they're absolutely amazing go to Adobe Creative Cloud website and download these brushes you will love them so example I love this um, uh, inky brush and I will draw click on this drag and I will I will click on this brush and I will drag it into my painting class uh, folder and voila. If I like, um, example, uh, this brush, I will click on this brush and I will drag it into this folder, just like this. Okay, this is our main folder. How we can create a subfolder? It's easy. One more time, I will click on create a new group folder. I will rename it painting class background brushes. Click OK and voila. Here guys, we have painting class background folder. I will add some brushes into this folder. And now, guys, I would like to move this folder into my painting class folder. So I would like to make this folder as subfolder. How can I do this? It's simply, it's very, very simple. I will click on my painting class background folder and I will drag it into my painting class just like this. 
Oh. Uh, force, yes. And now, guys, you can see that we have a painting class background subfolder and we have painting class folder. Just like this. Let me show it to you. Now, our painting life, digital painting life, will be much, much easier. So, guys, you can customize all your brushes. Um, I mean by uh, folder, folders and subfolders. And uh, during our next stream, we will talk about how you can uh, adjust your uh, brush, how you can customize your brush, how you can create your new brush using Photoshop or Adobe mobile device, Adobe Capture. We will talk about this um, during our next stream. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you today. As I said, today we started our new class, um, painting uh, from uh, digital painting from start to finish, and we will co cover all aspects in digital uh, painting uh, world. Uh, hi, hi, Irene. If you have any questions, guys, just ask. If um, you want to um, clarification about something we told. Uh, about today just let me know and i will be more than happy to answer any of your questions thank you so much guys for all your support thank you so much for your time and i will see you next time um i will see you tomorrow and tomorrow guys we will talk about how you can create uh, your um uh 3d project for your uh customer in adobe dimension guys you will love this stream just tune in and you will see how easy you can create absolutely amazing uh custom project in adobe dimension thank you guys and i will see you tomorrow bye